geometry statements are used to define the geometry of workpiece in terms of point line circle and plane let's start with a point how to specify a point in apt language suppose a point p1 having a coordinates 10 20 and 50 x y and z x y z coordinates 10 20 and 50 y axis and x axis and this is origin how to specify the point in a pt language first the symbol p1 and then write point p o i n t point oblique and then coordinates 10 20 and 50 the coordinates x y z should be separated by a comma p1 equal to point means p1 is a point having coordinates 10 20 and 50 if a point is a, a intersection of two lines suppose this is a point p2 and this is line l1 line l2 we can specify p2 in a pt language like p2 equal to point this is the format to specify the point p2 equal to then point means p2 is a point and if a point is an intersection of two lines then we will write i n t o f l1 l2 I and T O F means intersection of intersection of line L1 L2. P2 equal to point means P2 is a point and a point intersection of L1 L2 means P2 is the uh, intersection point of L1 L2. Instead of uh, intersection of we will write I and T O F. Uh, a circle the center of circle P3 and name of circle is C1. We can uh, specify point P3, P3 equal to point center C1. P3 equal to point means uh, P3 is a point that is the center of C1. C1, uh, C1 should be defined before P3 and L1, L2 should be defined before P2. Uh, let's define line. Suppose L1 is a line passing through point P1 point and P2. L1 can be defined L1 equal to line oblique P1 comma P2. L1 equal to line means L1 is a name of line or L1 is a line passing through point P1 and P2. P1 and P2 should be separated by a comma. Suppose uh, two lines L2 and L3 is uh, parallel lines and L1 is passing through P3. We can uh, we can define L3 uh, sorry L2 L2 equal to line P3 comma L1 equal to line means L2 is a line passing through L3 and parallel. parallel to L3. L2 equal to line means L2 is a line passing through P3 and parallel to L3. P A R L E L. Uh, there should not be uh, greater than uh, 6 character that's why it is written P A R L E L. Instead of parallel it is written P A R L E L. Suppose two lines 
is perpendicular to each other l4 l5 and l4 passing through l4 p4 we can specify line l4 l4 equal to line passing through p4 and perpendicular to l5 perpendicular p e r p e r p t o perpendicular to l5 l4 is a line passing through p4 and perpendicular to perpendicular to l5 a line l5 uh, l5 and p4 should be defined before l4 we cannot define l4 before p4 and l5 first we have to define p4 l5 then we can define l4 uh, the two lines tangent to a circle c1 the name of line is l6 and l7 the intersection point of l6 l7 is a point l5 l5 we can uh, define l6 and l7 l6 equal to line p5 left left tan to c1 l6 equal to line means l l6 is a line passing through p5 and left tangent to c1 l e f t left t a and t o t a and t o means tangent to c1 c1 this is the left uh, tangent uh, l6 is left tangent to c1 and uh, l7 is the right tangent to c1 if uh, we stand at point uh, p6 and uh, uh, our face is uh, at the center of c1 then l6 will be our left and l7 will be our right means l6 is left tangent to c1 and l7 is the right tangent to c1 l7 equal to line p5 right r i g h t right tan tan to c1 l7 equal to line l7 is the line passing through p5 and right tangent to c1 p5 and c1 uh, must be defined before l6 and l7 let's define circle circle c1 center p1 and radius of circle is 50 we can define circle c1 c1 equal to circle c i r c l e circle center c e n t r e center center comma p1 and radius radius 50 c1 equal to circle c1 is the name of circle uh, the center of circle is p1 and radius is 50 if a circle if a circle tangent to a line l1 circle c1 point p1 circle c2 point p2 we can define uh, the circle c2 equal to circle Circle center C 
सेंटर P2 tan 2 L1 C2 equal to circle. C2 is a circle having a center as P2 and tangent to L1. T A N 2 means tangent to L1. L1 and P2 must be defined before C2. And in C1, the P1 must be defined before C1. Let's define plane. Plane. Uh, can be defined through three points. Suppose a plane having three points P one, P two, P three. Then we can define plane P L one equal to plane P L A and E plane, and then P one, P two, and P three. P one, P two, P three uh, are three points. Uh, in a plane, P L one equal to plane means P L one is a plane having uh, passing through three points P one, P two, and P three. If two plane are parallel to each other, P L one, P L, sorry, P L two and P L three, and P L two is passing through a point P four, then we can define P L two. P L two equal to plane, plane passing through P four and parallel to P L one, parallel P A R L E L parallel to P L three, P L three, and if two points, uh, sorry, two planes are Perpendicular to each other. Two planes are perpendicular to each other. Plane P L four and plane P L five, and P L four is passing through P five. Then we can define P L four. P L four equal to plane passing through P five. And perpendicular to P L five, perpendicular P E R P T O, perpendicular to P L five. For perpendicular to, uh, we write P E R P T O means perpendicular to. And for parallel, we will write P A R L E L means parallel. This is a part, and the thickness of the part is twenty millimeter. Find uh, suppose uh, this point is P one. This is P two. This point is P three. This point is P four. Point P five, and this is the center is P six, and then. Uh, define the line. This is the line L one. This is line L two. This is line L three, and this is line L four. And this is circle C one. This is the plane, plane one. The upper, uh, the top surface uh, of this object is uh, plane one, and the bottom surface is. Plane two, P L two. Let's define. First, uh, we will define point, then line, circle, and plane. Let's define P one. P one equal to point. Point, and then we will write the coordinates of point P one. Uh, suppose this is the origin. This is zero zero. This is the origin, and the Z Z zero is at the top surface of the object. The top surface of the object is the Z zero. Then it will be zero 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 
x y z x equal to 0 y equal to 0 and z equal to 0 this is the point p1 and point p2 equal to point and then the coordinates of p2 the coordinates of p2 x is 0 comma and y is 300 300 and z is 0 p3 p3 equal to point coordinates of p3 is x equal to this is 400 and this is the uh, radius 50 means uh, minus 50 400 minus 50 equal to 350 x equal to 350 and y is 300 and z is 0 then point p4 point p4 x equal to 400 x equal to 400 and y equal to this is 300 minus 50 50 is the radius of this circular path circular section it will be 250 250 and 00 and p4 uh, sorry p5 p5 equal to point x equal to 400 y equal to 0 and z equal to 0 z equal to 0 and p6 p6 equal to point coordinates of p6 is 350 and 250 0 0 x 350 y 250 and 0 0 this is 300 minus 50 250 400 minus 50 350 and then we will define line l1 equal to line p1 p2 l1 is the line passing through p1 p2 l2 L2, this is L2, L2 is the line passing through P2 and P3, P2 and P3, line, line L3, L3 is the line passing through, L3 is the line passing through P4 and P5, L4, L4 is the line, L4 is line passing through P5 and P1, P5 and P1. Then define circle, circle C1 equal to C I R C L E, circle C1 equal to circle, center P6, center P6, radius radius 50 center p6 radius 50 and then the plane pl1 pl1 equal to plane pla and e plane 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 can be defined uh, any three points passing through that plane it may be defined P1, P3, and P5. P1, P3, P5. Uh, to define PL3, PL3, uh, we can define it parallel to PL1. For that, we have to define a point P7. P7 then we can define PL2. P7 equal to point. Point coordinates 0 0 and z is minus 20 minus 20 z is minus 20 thickness of the uh, object is 20 means z is minus 20 it is at the origin 0 0 0 minus 20 
then we can define we can define plane 2 pl2 equal to plane plane passing through p7 and parallel to p a r l e l parallel to plane 1 plane 1 is already defined p7 is already defined we can uh, define pl2 pl2 equal to plane passing through p7 and parallel to pl1 